Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Neuron Films. Today we're going to continue our iPhone tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover notifications. As you can see, a notification is here, uh, for example, text, uh, text messaging is a very common example of um, notifications. You'll get it right on your home screen and you'll be able to see here that I have a notification. Now also if you swipe from the top down on your actual um, iPhone, basically starting from your uh, the head headphone speaker where or from the camera you can say and then swipe down off from from off your screen down you'll be able to swipe down you'll bring down your notification center basically and today that's it's is defaults to today sometimes it defaults to all but today you'll be able to see your main notifications growing like your calendar and reminders and you might be able to see be able to see stocks or additional items depends what how you set it up in the settings which I'll show you in just a little bit but then if you move on to your all settings you'll be able to see all regarding any application notifications let's say you're playing a game most commonly you have often as games or game center you have uh, them notify you or even a uh, social media uh, website or application they'll give you notifications that will appear in the all now let's say you had due dates or deadlines and you set them on your calendar they'll appear in the mist if you actually had a few that you missed or anything like you see for example I missed two minutes ago a text from uh, I basically texted myself to create this uh, notification so for example there's a notification it was here you could have slid from a uh, from the left hand side to the right if you slide on the notification it will take you directly to it but then also if you bring down your notification center swiping down from the top down you'll be able to see the text message and you can also tap on it and it will tell you to unlock and it will bring you directly to that text message right there front now for example let me go back and uh, I'm gonna go to my settings which is right here at the bottom this is what it's going to look like but you can also find your settings by swiping down on your screen and uh, typing in settings and then you can launch it from there once you're in your settings you'll find an uh, application or a section selection here named notification center I'll have it highlighted here and uh, just go in notification center and then right here or at the back it says uh, swipe down from the top of the screen to view notification center which is what we I showed you guys just a second ago and then also it says access on lock screen notification view which you can uh, uh, turn on or turn off and then the today view and what it means by these is notification view and today view is when you swipe down you have the today view and you also have the notification view so now let's scroll down we have uh, the today view we can have the today summer summary within the today view then we can also have the next uh, destination calendar day view whoops calendar view I'm gonna leave that on reminders stocks which I have off because I don't use it and today summary I mean tomorrow summary as well I like to keep that and then notification view for sorts manually or sort by time which I have it by manually and then now as you go to is include you also have applications these are all applications that you may have notifications enabled for or then it says do not include applications that you have um, what would you say applications that you have notifications disabled for which I have several here now the one the ones you do have include you will will you will almost likely have almost every app include even when you it prompts you as soon as you open up for your first app it prompts you to, and asks you do you want to enable notifications for this application you, if you even if you hit no it doesn't completely shut off all the notifications for the application you'd have to go in notification center to actually shut that off manually for example let's go to the calendar here and uh, you can set up the alerts how you'd like, like alert style, you can have none, banners, and it gives you a little example there, or alerts. I like alerts for calendars, and then badge app icon, and uh, yes, I want to keep that on. Calendar alerts, and here's, even you can even put sounds to it too, if you'd like, and I'll play one. And uh, that's what I have for a calendar. And include uh, five items, that's basically um, how many items you, have, you get notified up to until it just uh, stops at the point and then show on lock screen you can have that available as well and that's the lock screen meaning the the lock screen the screen that you use to sign in and then this is for every single app here and it, if you're getting notified by an app and you want to change it or shut it off it would be right in here notification center and just go in there and if you want to completely mute an app for example calendars you don't want any um, notifications from calendars go to none and go to two, uh, shut off badge app icon shut off notification center and shut off show on lock screen now that app will be completely muted 
but uh, since I want mine on, I'm going to leave it everything on just the way it was. That's the basics of Notification Center. Be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below. Be glad to help you guys. And let my life be the proof, the proof of you.